if you're considering using hay in your vegetable garden, don't. It may seem like a very cheap and easy way to get organic material into your garden, like using it as a mulch, but you could end up contaminating your entire garden with pesticides. Let me explain. This is one of those things that used to be a safe practice, but no longer is because of different changes in chemistry of herbicides and pesticides that are now widely used in hay production. You see, one of the big problems when it comes to producing a good, clean hay is how do you eradicate broadleaf weeds that are growing amongst your hay? So in the past, people would use broadleaf weed killers such as dicamba and 2,4-D, which those didn't really persist in the soil very long and were relatively safe to use because, well, they didn't affect other plants further down the road. There's a new subset of chemicals, well, new-ish, and these are called pyridine carboxylic acids, and these are being used more and more throughout weed killers and in different herbicides that are sprayed onto hay. And those ingredients are going to be things like triclopyr, clopyrrolid, aminopyrrolid, pyclorem, fluoroxapyr, and things like that. And those ingredients are mixed into very popular herbicides such as grazon, which is marketed to be able to kill broadleaf weeds in your hay, and your livestock are still able to graze on that hay or grass without it hurting the livestock. But the big problem for you as a home gardener is these new chemicals are extremely persistent, which means they don't go away, at least not for a very long time. Now, these companies know this is a problem, too. Even on their label that they put on the pesticide, they have this interesting little chart here that shows that if you are feeding this to animals, it's OK. But if you are taking the manure or the hay, you cannot turn this into compost and you cannot put this on your vegetable garden. So for example, if someone sprays grazon on their hay and then they bale that hay up, send it to a store, you buy it and take it home, it's still going to be there and it's still going to continue to damage broadleaf plants, especially things like grapes or tomatoes or beans that are extremely sensitive to these weed killers. And these chemicals are so persistent that they will actually persist all the way through the gut of livestock that consume this hay. And that's also why I have warned people to be very careful with livestock manure in their gardens. It's because of these chemicals. So if this hay gets into the manure that you're using or the compost that you're using, or if you are actually putting the hay into your garden, you could be contaminating your garden and it could be there for even a year or more in your garden causing damage to your plants. And I'm seeing this a lot. I'm seeing it on online forums. I'm seeing it from customers that walk through my doors as well. It's going to look a lot like this. You're going to see this telltale sign of leaf, pearl, and deformation that happens from herbicide damage. And I will tell these people when I see it, yeah, that's classic herbicide damage. And they will swear up and down that they have not sprayed any weed killer anywhere around their garden. Well, they didn't spray any weed killer. It was actually in some of the ingredients that were mixed into their soil. So my main message here is don't use hay, don't use manure, and don't use straw in your garden unless you know exactly where it came from and that all of the ingredients along the entire chain of production have been free of these chemicals. It's really just not worth the risk in my opinion because it is so hard to deal with once you do contaminate your soil. So work with your local garden centers and your neighbors to find really good solutions that are going to be safe to use in your home vegetable garden. Our garden center has gone through great lengths to make sure that we sell products that are going to be free of these chemicals, such as organic compost in bulk. We also have a cow manure option that is free of these chemicals that we sell here. But if you're just going to some random farm and picking up manure or hay, or if you're going to a box store and purchasing some bag product that you're not sure what's in that bag, you are running a risk. So keep your vegetables safe out there. Make sure you know what's going into your garden.